Hi guys, so AI content production is very much an important part of any SEO campaign. And I'm often asked about what I use, how I do it, what does the process look like? And I'm going to introduce you to a tool that I use along the way, WriterZen. So here goes a quick introduction to WriterZen. I want to talk about a couple of new features that are in WriterZen. And the first one is the Keyword Planner, which you can see in front of me. Now, what we can do is we can import keywords um, if we wanted to. Basically, we can start a new project, we can look at the different locations, language, and we can enter one keyword at a time if we wanted to do so. Um, however, I have pre-done this so that we can look at this on a quick, uh, <laughs> ongoing basis because there are some useful functions and features in here uh, that are really, really cool. And obviously for me, talking about SEO, we see people not understanding what a topical cluster is and they don't understand that whole side of things. So having all different topics here on the left-hand side, whether it be Fender Acoustics, whether it be Custom Fenders, whether it be, I don't know, Fender gear, we'll add that in there. There's 23 clusters um, that I can add to that list um, there. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. So Fender clusters. Let's say that's the three that I want to do. Um, so I've got my list there and I can create or suggest a content brief for all 23 articles. Now, creating a content brief is a pain, but from a content writer's perspective, getting that content brief made or giving you more ideas, more data to work with, is important for that content writer to then go on and create some good articles. So um, we can click here and get the tool to do it's already set for 18 to 23. We're just waiting for it to do its job. But creating the good uh, content briefs is really, really important if you want to have a productive content writer. Too many people just throw a keyword at their content writer and expect them to go and do their thing. They're not necessarily skilled SEOs as such. So we can then go and create. So the content brief will be here and um, we can share that access with people, give them permissions uh, to check plagiarism the, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So we can add, uh, add the writer to this um, and create a project. And we can just pick United Kingdom. And we can ask the AI assistant to write the article description and the outline and write the whole article. Now, <laughs> you can go in, there's some advanced settings here um, and you can change the priority. So if you wanted to tell your content writer that this was high priority and maybe to deal with it first, we can put deadlines and everything on there as well. And we can click create and the tool will go away, it's created four, five, six, very, very quickly, the keyword planner is doing its job and you can basically create 23 articles out of those clusters um, very, very quickly, which is insane. And you can see the speed at which this worked. Um, so you'll see the status is processing we can go in here, we can show all of the articles, the priority set to high, I'm the owner, but that could be assigned to whatever writer 
is out there. We can tick the box if you want to use your credits for NLP. Um, a green tick will appear there if you are using it. I am not because it eats up a lot of your credits, so I'm not using it for test articles, but I would suggest that you use Google's NLP for any of your own articles. Um, why wouldn't you? So we can see the article. It's just col uh, collecting the data, identifying the competition, um, doing its scraping and, and AI stuff in the background here. So guys, you can see the amount of words, the headings, the paragraphs. You can obviously add in your own images, which I'll show you in a second. But it gives us an overall score of A. Now, this is obviously a writer's zen specific score. It will give us, you know, your, your outline, which we've got here with your header twos, keywords that are used. Um, it shows you the competitions. It gives you the questions. Uh, and all that kind of stuff as well if people also ask or you can go over to reddit and Get some questions as well if you wanted to put them in the content However, we've got the AI to write the content here. We can see that it's given us our headers paragraphs subheaders and it's given us a standard article um, on the particular topic that we're writing about. Now we can go in here and we can add in images, we can change stuff around, you can delete stuff, you can get someone to humanly edit this. Now part of the process here would be this does go to a human editor who can tweak things, they can add some more subheadings, they can run it through Grammarly, they can do whatever they like. Um, now at this point I can click approve um, to the team. So if, that, if I'm the content editor, that can come to me and I can approve it and it can basically go back onto their um, desk and they can add it to the website. Now I can also click require edit um, as well and that is something that uh, you know we can go away, speak to the content team um, and basically give them some guidance as to what we would like to, to see changed on this article. Um, and then get them to do those changes and then approve it. So that is basically the AI content generator uh, within Writer's Zen and the keyword planner. Now before we go away and do all the keyword planning and writing articles and all that kind of stuff, we need to do some basics first. Now within Writer's Zen, we have the keyword explorer. Um, now again, I've used the word Fender guitars just to show you how that works. I have searched uh, the United Kingdom to do some keyword research and it's given me you know the the search volume, it's given me the SERP overview where we can see the competition, it's given me some cost per click data from a Google AdWords point of view. It's also given me keyword ideas and total search volume for all of that. Now, keyword overview is all here. We can see throughout uh, the, the, the year, in the past uh, 12 months, what sort of search volume. So when we're looking at keywords, does that stay the same for every, you know, for the whole 12 months of a year? No, it doesn't. Certain things move up. And clearly, when it comes to Fender guitars, November, December, and January are the three uh, months of the year where it actually jumps up a little bit to 8,100 searches per month for that specific keyword. So we can do in-depth analysis here. Now we can see the keyword data here, Fender guitars, 6,600 monthly searches. We can see um, the, you know, the kind of competition levels and everything else that's on here. So we can go through all of this and let's say we're doing keyword research and I like Fender guitars and I like Fender guitars electric and I like Fender guitars bass. Just want to show you something that's important. Now you can add this to a keyword list or a keyword group. You can simply go away and create the articles like I showed you earlier on in the video. Just make that happen. But there is some additional um, buttons here where we can export this if we're, you know, 
letting someone see it, say it's a client, we can export that. We can look at the keywords in general, we can look at phrase match, we can have stuff that's got the same terms, or we can also use the also search for functionality within Writer's End, which is very, very useful. And we can see that people also search for Fender Telecaster and so on and so forth. So we do have a lot of keyword data here that we can dig into. We can also go into insights so we can see questions that people ask and what there is are, where, how, how much are Fender guitars, all of these kind of different types of keywords. We also have prepositions, Telecaster with humbucklers, buckers even, can Leo play, can Leo Fender play guitar? Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. There's also some comparison keywords that show up, alphabet keywords such as B, Bender, Telecaster. Not sure what that means, but I'm sure in certain niches that will work very, very well. And you've also got numerical related keywords as well, such as Fender, Emmy, and the number one. So there's a lot of different insights that you can look into. So it's really in depth when you're doing your keyword research. Now, what we can see just now is the golden score coming through. Now, basically what the golden score is, um, is the potential value um, the lower the keyword, uh, the golden keyword score, the greater chances of that keyword being recommended and vice versa. And they actually do have an article on here as to how the keyword golden ratio actually works. So a lot of people talk about keyword golden ratio and you can get a lot more information um, on the writer's end uh, fresh desk website there so you can understand what all of that means and that is pretty much the keyword explorer so it's fairly in-depth you can look at the competition you can look at a whole bunch of other stuff so really really important but following on to that is the topic discovery tool so they're all segmented out and again I have used Fender guitars uh, for the topic discovery tool. Now we can see here what the main topic is. It clearly defined in orange. Fender guitars, 6,600 um, of them and it's shown us all the ideas and everything else. However, headlines to consider. There's a whole bunch of different headlines. Um, there's Google Suggest Insights. So when you Google something, you'll see that Google Auto Suggest. This tool, Writer's End, is pulling all of that information in for you. You can look at all, you can look at questions, you can look at prepositions, comparisons, and so on and so forth. So there is a lot of information here. We can also see related Google searches down at the bottom here, which we can then go in and do further research on. And we can see all of the kind of clusters here. So whether that be the electric Fender guitar cluster, we can see um, all the kind of ideas round about that, headlines to consider, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of good information here within this section, and there's lots of it. So you can scroll down and go through tons of different clusters that you can go into a surrounding Fender guitars, Fender effects pedals, Fender road worn, Fender American professional, Fender Squire Bullet, you know, I don't know much about Fender guitars specifically, but we can see that we can dig into all of the kind of little subtopics or clusters that surround that particular keyword. And I think this in-depth ana uh, in depth analysis placed on your lap does help you go away and create an aggressive content strategy um, and make sure that you are covering the full cluster of the topic and making sure that you get as many different keywords into that as you possibly can. So that is pretty much the Keyword Explorer topic discovery. I have shown you the Keyword Planner. Now, once you use the Keyword Planner and you're going to create content, you've got your content creator down here. Now we can see the status of each project. Now, 
That one there has been approved. This one here needs an edit. Um, now we can go away. Now this is all just for testing purposes. I have suggested that it needs an edit. And I can go in there and uh, basically uh, the, the tool itself is telling me we need to add at least three images. We need to include all target keywords. The content length is good. The number of titles uh, is good. Um, but we've got a lot more to do within the tool. So we can go in there, suggest edits, um, get our content editor to do them and then approve them. So that shows you the kind of team or your content creator calendar down there. So we can see the status of all of our content there. We can see what's approved, what's in, currently in writing, what needs edited, and you can see the dates, the times, you can update the, the deadlines and so on and so forth. And with this, Writers In will help you accelerate your content strategy. The whole process is within the tool, including the content creation calendar. So you can go away and get a free trial of Writers In. You can use the link below, go there, sign up and start to accelerate your content strategy straight away.